Bonjour, consul et confrère. Bienvenue au deuxième conseil canadien d'Unifor. Brothers and sisters, we have one heck of a Canadian council in front of us. It's important that this Canadian council that it's taken place in Quebec because of the unity of our organization, which is actually clearly the foundation of our union. I'm always excited to come to a Unipor event. It's just great to be a part of the whole movement. I'm really excited. There's so much going on, there's so much to learn, there's so much information. And the nice thing is that it's all one big family. Unifor, c'est une grosse organisation syndicale à travers le pays. C'est 305 000 membres. Globalement, euh, il faut un monde plus juste, plus équitable pour tout le monde. Il faut partager la richesse, puis c'est pas vrai que c'est juste pour les riches. Well, Unifor is not afraid to take a position. We're not afraid to take a stand. And we do it quite aggressively, thank you very much. Next year is going to be about how do we continue to expand our role within the communities? How do we continue to push the political envelope? So we are going to continue to play an active role in politics as well as within our workplaces. Underrepresentation of women leaders is clearly a chronic problem affecting nearly every sector in Canada. Until women have an equal voice, we have a lot of work to do. Chercher plus de femmes, les encourager à se présenter. Mais c'est important parce qu'il faut être représenté. Qui mieux qu'une femme de parler des conditions des femmes pour trouver une solution pour les femmes? This country has racially discriminated against First Nations children by providing them with less money for education on reserves, less money for health care, and that inequality has been allowed to continue in one of the wealthiest countries in the world. I've never been here before and I've learned a lot. I've met a lot of people from coast to coast. It regenerates that passion that you've got for the union and you you grow stronger. Comme sentiment, ça fait en sorte que on se sent pas on se sent pas seul, on sent qu'on est on fait partie d'une grande équipe. On apprend beaucoup, on, on échange des informations, on échange des contacts. We always show solidarity, you know? Keep each other strong and positive. And when you see people from other places showing solidarity, it's great, you know? Like, it gives you strength. It, like, it motivates you. Le pays s'est construit non pas avec des millions puis des milliards. On pense qu'il s'est construit avec des gens qui se lèvent le matin, qui font leur boîte à lunch, qui vont porter les enfants à garderie, qui travaillent dur. Nous, on pense que ces gens-là méritent notre respect. This past 12 months has been very, very active. Some might even say transformative. There's no other word to describe the change of government in Alberta under the leadership of Rachel Notley. Our leadership and our staff and our activists have had another demanding year, but they always deliver when they're asked. Ultimately, we know a union is the only real tool workers have to gain fairness and respect in the workplace. This has been a year of defending, standing up, enforcing democracy in our workplaces, building our union and the labor movement. It's been a year of Unifor building. Come here on a scale of like a thousand plus people and see the energy and the, the speeches and the solidarity is a very uplifting. It's something you would like to bring back to your local and have the same kind of atmosphere in your own workplace. It's definitely going to make me think about what needs to be done. There's all kinds of programs that are here offering assistance, education. We don't have anything really in our local for education. Um, you know, getting more involved in women's issues and just, you know, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Youth employment has actually declined. There are fewer young people working today than there were in 2006 when Harper was elected for the first time, which is shocking uh, and second worst uh, in uh, post-war history. Canada has never done worse than under his leadership, and that's another good reason uh, to defeat Harper and everything he stands for on October 19th. 
I felt really frustrated by what the Harper government was doing in terms of its attacks on my generation, on workers, on indigenous people, on women, of, on people of color. Energy right now is great. Uh, we had some young workers on today. They're ready to pump up the uniform. Ben c'est sûr c'est impliqué. La clé c'est dans l'implication, que ce soit dans nos communautés, dans notre travail politique, c'est de s'impliquer. Our members should be optimistic based on what we've accomplished in the last two years. I mean, it's been an incredible run. We've had the Good Job Summit, we've had the Rights at Work campaign, we've played a role in all of the political, social and economic issues of the day, and we'll continue to do that. Our members are amazing. It's our time, brothers and sisters. There's no reason that our young people, education can't be for free. There's no reason why we can't have universal childcare. There's no reason why we can't have minimum wage of $15. We have the vision, we have the ability, we have the determination. More importantly, we have each other. Let's get it all done. Thank you very much for an incredible two and a half days.